Hello everyone, welcome to Decode ITES. This is a single learning platform for multiple IT infrastructure technologies. Do like, share and subscribe our channel to never miss out our videos. Let's continue with the learning. Let's have a small introduction of myself. My name is Prince Gurg. I'm having 3 plus years of work experience and worked on that at VMware. Windows, Google Cloud, PowerShell, Python, and Bash scripting. Kindly follow us on Facebook, Insta, LinkedIn, and reach out to us on ites1.com. So, in this video, we will learn the links of file in Linux. So, the first question is what is links? A link in Unix is a pointer to any file. Like pointers, in any of the programming languages, links in Unix are pointers that are pointing to a file or a directory. Also, creating these links is a kind of shortcut to access a file like we do in Windows. Links allow more than one file names to refer to the same file elsewhere. And now the types of links. We are having two types, soft links or symbolic links. The second one is hard links. These links behave differently when the source of a link what is being linked to is moved or removed. Symbolic links are not updated like they merely contain a string which is the path name of its target. Hard links always refer to the source like actual file even if moved or removed. For example, if we have a file named as a.txt and we are creating a hard link like b.txt of that file and then delete the original one a.txt, we can still access the file using hard link. But if we create a soft link of that file and then delete the original file, we can't access the file through soft link. And soft link becomes dangling in nature. Basically, Hard link increases the friend count of a location file. Soft link work as a shortcut, like in Windows. Now, hard links. We can give it a, some more time to get into the hard links. Like each hard linked file is assigned to the same inode value as an original one. Therefore, they reference the same physical file location. Hard links are more flexible and remain linked even if that original or linked files are moved throughout the file system. Although hard links are unable to cross different file system or environments. The command is ls-l that shows all the available links with the link column shows number of links. We will see it in the practical overview. Links have the actual file contents. Also, removing any link just reduces the link count but doesn't affect the other links. We cannot create a hard link for a directory to avoid recursive loops. If the original file is removed, then the link still shows the count of that file. Now the soft links. A soft link is similar to the file shortcut feature which we use in Windows operating system. If the original one gets removed, we can't able to access the shortcut. Each soft linked file contains a separate inode value that points to the original file. As similar to hard link, any changes to the data in either file is reflected in another one. Like if we edit any file like a.txt and enter our name, we can see the changes on the symbolic link. Soft links can be linked across different file system. Although if the original file is deleted or moved, the soft linked file will not work properly and we can say that it state as hanging link. This feature is not available under hard links. ls-l command shows all the links with first column value and the link points to the original file. The soft link contains the path of the original file 
but not the content. Whereas in the hard links, it contains the content as well. Removing soft link doesn't affect anything but removing original file. The link becomes dangling link which then points to the non-existent file and it will not gonna work. A soft link can be linked to any directory and link across the file system means if we want to link files across the file systems we can only use symbolic links or the soft links. Like if we are having 10 servers and on the one server we want to keep the original data and all the 9 servers will have to show the data but not the original one. It will show the data you can edit the same but the changes will reflect to the A01 file only like the server one. Now let's take a look at the working of links. Every data is stored under the blocks in the Linux file system and the blocks is represented as the inode values and if we are creating the hard link like file 1, file 2 and file 3 these are connected directly to the inode and if we can check under the Linux file system the inode value continuously keeps increasing or decreasing as per the links created like as per the example if we are having 3 files it will show 3 count as the inode value now here we come with the symbolic link like data1 we have created it's connected directly to the hard link it's not connected to the inode okay so if the file gets deleted for which is pointing to then the symbolic link will not gonna work all right let me demonstrate how to work with links i will start with ls minus il slash etc slash host you can see that uh, what l is doing here l is for long and i is displaying the inode number in linux every file has a unique inode number so we can see that 8397181 that's the inode number for the file etc host let me remove the existing uh, links I'm having. Now I will start by creating a hard link. So I'm using ln slash etc slash host. Okay, and I need that hard link to be at root uh, by the name hhost. hhost uh, is just you can say a hard link of host file. Okay, so that's created now. And if I repeat the ls minus il, and I include the name of the link I have just created. And we can see that both the files have the same properties and they share the same inode number as well. Let me list the original file as well. You can see the inode number is same, the permissions is same, the last modified date and time is same. It's just a hard link of that file. And if I'm going to open this one by vi etc host and let me add a line to this like new line i have saved this file and if i'm doing ls minus il now you can see that both the files become bigger okay and how come well that is because really they are the same file the name of the file is just appointed to the inode and each the inode that it's all about now let me create a symbolic link 
the syntax for symbolic link is ln minus s slash etc slash host this is the file name for which i want uh, the soft link and i will create the soft link as as host okay now the symbolic link is created and as well as we are having the original file so the original file is etc host and now you should notice that creating a symbolic link, you always must specify the absolute file name. So don't go to the etc directory and point to host because symbolic link really must have an absolute file name. Not a relative file name. Let's also have a look at the result. ls minus l slash etc slash host and slash root slash as host as you can see that the new entry has been created and here is a symbolic link so this is the name of the link and you can see that in total symbolic link as a size of this much bytes and because etc host is the exactly same bytes and the name of the target file is the only thing that is really stored by the symbolic link it's not storing the actual data under the file. You can also see that the permissions are open and that the inode has been created. The permissions are open because the symbolic link is just like a sign that is being bringing to the right location. So permissions are not handled at the symbolic link. They are handled at the target file. Now, what if we remove the actual file? Now the file is removed and let's repeat the same command ls minus l slash etc host and we will gonna change this to slash root hosts sorry h host you can see that the hard link fun is working fine and but you can see it right here that something is wrong with the symbolic link. The symbolic link is pointing to something that doesn't exist anymore. If we use cat on like uh, as host, it's showing us an error that no such file or directory found. This is because the target file doesn't exist anymore, but fortunately, this can be repaired easily because we still have the second hard link. So if I use ln root at host and slash etc slash host, then we should be back in business. Now in the case, we wonder how is this useful? Well, this is useful to ensure information is available where it needs to be available. Let's verify the changes. You can see it's working fine now. And we can also read out the file by using cat root and as host. So it's appeared now. We can also look at the example of the enterprise Linux itself. I want to talk about this example that the bin directory. The fact is that in earlier versions of Red Hat, there was a bin directory. And apart from that, there was a user bin directory. With the release of Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7, Red Hat decided to put all binaries in user bin. And also some binaries in user as bin. So they stepped away from the ancient distinction between these two bin directories and put it all together where they mention that you have scripts that are pointing to a file in the bin directory and suddenly the bin directory doesn't exist anymore. They have scripts to fill right and that is a problem that is easily fixed by creating a symbolic link that points to the specific directory. Like you can see here, hard links are not so very common, but symbolic links are very useful, very common in Linux file system. So that's all with the links in Linux. I hope you have uh, studied 
uh, what is hard link and symbolic link. If you are having any queries, do reach out to us and we will give it a try to resolve your query. So that's all for this. Thank you. We will cover our learning with Linux 8 from next video. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and comment our videos. Also subscribe to our channel.